G'day guys and welcome back to Cookies Critters. So this is going to be a bit of a gecko themed related video. Uh, doing some deep cleaning on the northern velvets, some spot cleaning on the knobtails, and overall egg checks and feeding. So guys, if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications and we'll see you shortly. Okay guys, so here at Cookies Critters, we take our cleaning of our reptile enclosures and tubs very seriously. Uh, because of the volumes that we keep here, we like to uh, stagger it along the way. So uh, every animal does have a daily, a weekly, and a monthly cleaning routine. And we like to stagger that from week to week. So that way the, uh, the, the burden, the, the workload of, uh, of the deep cleans isn't just mounted on one day. So today's video is going to be cycling around the northern velvet geckos. Uh, the same principles can be applied for rack systems for any other gecko, whether it be terrestrial or arboreal. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so before we can empty out the sand, there's a few things that we need to do. One of those is check for eggs. Uh, and then the second process will be to sift out any fecal matter. So today while cleaning, I came across these two little eggs. It's from a uh, Northern Velvet Gecko. So. so next we spray all the tubs, hides and decorations with F10. Now, depending on the dilution ratio that you're using will vary the uh, contact time and the effectiveness of the disinfectant. So now we fill this tub with the old sand with water. Uh, the purpose for this is to get rid of any excess uh, fecal matter, uh, shed skin, and generally dirty sediment water. One hour later. So depending on the contact time required, uh, and in this case we've allowed one hour, the tubs are thoroughly scrubbed, rinsed, and allowed to dry before we bring them back inside and reuse them for the next geckos. Once we've thoroughly cleaned the sand, we lay it out on a tarp in direct sunlight. This way the, uh, the sun will dry it and hopefully kill off any of the excess bacteria. So right now the tubs are being refilled with sand and two hides each. Uh, all the geckos are being checked for overall health and the females in particular are being inspected to see if they're gravid. So guys, right now hand hygiene is super critical. Uh, here at Cookies Critters, we disinfect our hands in between handling each of our animals. And this way we can reduce the chance or the risk of cross-contamination and therefore diseases spreading. So finally, we wanna make sure that our geckos are adequately fed before we return them back to their racking position. So guys, I've taken the opportunity here to quickly go through the smooth knob tails and the wheeler eye. Uh, just have a quick egg check, spot clean, and uh, give them a feed as well. So while cleaning today, I came across these two little uh, little perlers. Uh, this is from a Nephris wheelerai, so a banded knobtail gecko. Uh, both being candled, both fertile. Can't wait for them to hatch. Okay guys, so that's it. Uh, took me about two hours. Uh, all the geckos are cleaned. The northern velvets have been deep cleaned and everyone's had an egg check and been fed. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, turn on those post notifications. And as always guys, if you've got them, keep your beard treated and your beard is heated.